Hello everybody, this is Matt Watson here from Carlow and I'm sat in an Audi S8 and next to me is a Bentley Flying Spa and we're going to have a very posh, luxurious and comfortable drag race. So let me tell you about this new Audi S8. It has a 4 litre twin turbo V8 with 571 horsepower. It's also got 800 newton metres of torque and it puts that down to the road via an 8 speed torque converter gearbox and quattro all wheel drive. It's very luxurious this thing and very big. As a result it weighs quite a lot, 2,230 kilos. It also costs quite a lot, £97,000 starting price. That Bentley it has a 6 litre W12 engine with 635 horsepower and 900 newton metres of torque. It puts that power down to the road once again via an 8 speed automatic gearbox, but that one has dual clutches and launch control. It's also got four wheel drive, of course, and it's even more luxurious than this. Packed full of dead cow, bits of metal, bits of chopped up tree, and all that adds to the weight. It weighs 2,437 kilos, which is just over 200 kilos more than this car, which could affect the results. And we're gonna find out, but before we do, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you will not miss a single one of our drag races. Also, why don't you follow me on Instagram? It's at Matt Watson Cars. I do lots of photos and behind the scenes stuff and show you a bit about my life, things like that, in case you care. Anyway, let's get on with the race. Buying a new car? Head to CarWow to get offers from the UK's top dealers. CarWow.co.uk, the car buying comparison site. Let's do a sound check to see what these engines sound like. So I've got this car into its sportier settings. Let's rev it. It shouldn't be too loud really, should it? Because it's supposed to be a limousine. And indeed, it isn't really. Let's see if that Bentley sounds a bit more raucous. Go on, rev your engine, Mr. Bentley. Now I can't hear a thing. It could be because that engine is very quiet. It could be because this has excellent soundproofing, or it could be a mixture of the two. Anyway, let me know which one you think sounded the best in the comments below. Do you know what? I think it would be a little bit amiss of me if I didn't try to warm up the tires before we raced. Not sure if it's going to work, but I'm going to try and do a toner in this essay. <laughs> this is nuts! I think that'll do it. Woo! Well, my outside tyres are very warm and probably a little bit worse for wear now, but <laughs> was not expecting that. Let's see what the Bentley can do. Go on then, Bentley. <laughs> Go and destroy your tyres. <laughs> Oh, yes! I pity the tyres. <laughs> Just screeching out. I mean, dealing with all that power and weight. Well, that's done. Tyres are warm. Let's do some racing. Three, two. Wait a second. I just realised I haven't actually concealed my flying B for better aerodynamics. Silly me. All right, then. Showing off. I don't think it's going to make a difference, but anyway, let's get on with it. Quite close off the line. This is closer than I thought it would be. Oh my gosh, come on Audi, this is going to be so close. Oh, come on! That was bizarre. It's a bit like racing two stately homes, a British one and a German one. So before you say, yes, I know that's quite German underneath the skin because it shares its platform with this car, but it's still assembled in the UK, all right? Good start for you then, Bentley? Yeah, that was very good indeed. And it's just weird sat in such a quiet thing and being thrust back into your seat. I think I got off the line a bit better than you, but you just came past me, didn't you? I think I did just clinch it at the end there. Uh, but in the middle of that race, it was very, very close and it was really, really exciting. Well, there we go. Sometimes it can be fun being a chauffeur. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Audi and the Bentley both completed the standing quarter mile in 11.5 seconds, but the Bentley's extra power just took it on the line, despite a better start from the Audi. 
now we're going to have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour with the cars in their comfiest settings, which is how they're going to be driven. Let's be honest. Here we go. I'll count it in. Three, two, one, go. Kick down, kick down. What the heck? That took forever. And the Bentley's gone. Really gone. I wonder how fast this will go. The Bentley is increasing its lead. I don't know what's happening to him now. It's like backing off or something. Or well, he's got loads of drag, but I'm coming past. I did like 163, 64. Oh, that's enough. What happened, Bentley? Did you like back off the accelerator? A uh, large message on my dashboard saying I was going too quickly for my tyre pressures. I have to admit, I got a bit scared. Bentley do that with the tyres, it's really odd. You have different tyre settings depending on what speed you're going to go. This carried on tuning well past 160. Well, I think it's clear that if he hadn't bottled it, the Bentley would have stayed ahead. This kicked down quite a bit slower than his car, and until he backed off, I was behind him. Oh well. Now we're going to do a rolling race again, this time with the cars in their sportiest setting and locked in third gear. I'm going to count this in. Three, two, one, go! This picked up sweet as. Come on. It auto shifts as well, even when you got it in manual. And that Bentley's just easing ahead now. This picked up slightly quicker though, I must say. And he's increasing his lead and he's clearly not bottling it about his tyre pressures. I think I've reached a limiter. I can't go any faster than an indicated 164. Whoa, whoa, whoa. When I'm braking hard, this is all over the show. That was weird. When I was braking from that high speed, this was weaving about. I'm a bit sketchy, actually. You happy with that, Bentley, I bet, you smug bugger? Yeah, I ignored the message that time <laughs> and just carried on. <laughs> uh, the health and safety people aren't looking at this video. Right, now we're going to have a brake test from 70 miles an hour. Full emergency stop when we hit the line. Let's go do it. Here comes the line. Whoa. I think that's a clear win for the Audi. That's the difference that your 200 kilos makes. It's just a bit harder to stop the car. Anyway, the acceleration tests are won by the more powerful car. The braking by the lighter car. That's what I call car wow investigative car journalism. I'm joking really, that was a lot of fun. These cars are so quick and have such good performance, yet they're super comfy as well. Amazing. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Let me know some other videos you'd like us to do in the comments below. Now I found an amazing deal on one of these cars through CarWow. If you click on the pop-out banner up there, you'll be able to see which car it is and how much the saving is available on it. Also, before I go, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure you hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on so you don't miss a single upload. Finally, if you want to check out my own personal YouTube channel, it's at Matt Watson Cars. The link to it is in the description below the video. Thanks for watching. I don't think it says launch control, but it does a D and it holds it at like about 3000 RPM. That's launch control. It doesn't admit to launch control, the Bentley. It's like, oh no, we don't talk about that, but it can do it. <laughs> I see what you mean. Yeah, okay, I'm good to go. See.